Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's wisdom will be coming from out of the gospel of St. Luke, Luke chapter number 2, verses 10 and 11. It's Luke chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. It read, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Today I want to talk about the night Christ was born. The night Christ was born. Of course, in our Bible class, Table Talk, we have been dealing with the journey into powerful living as we've been putting the spotlight and highlighting uh, Peter's life, of course. Uh, but we're going to deviate from it. We're going to, we're going to jump ship and shift uh, tonight and have a special, special Bible class surrounding uh, the birth of Christ. Of course, in Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, we see the first advent of of Christ. Verse, verse number 8 through verse number 14, we see the announcement from the angel to the shepherd concerning the birth of Christ. And then verse 15 through 20, we see the action of the shepherd. Of course, tonight as we look at the all that surrounding the birth of Christ, we're going to look at five particular areas. Certainly, it was a night number one of grace. Verse 8 says that the shepherds were keeping watch over their sheep by night, and the angel came and gave them the good news. The news didn't go to uh, the Roman emperor, it didn't go to the governor, it didn't go to the rulers or the high priest, but it went to lowly shepherd. That was the grace of God. Of course, it was a night of glad tidings of great joy. He says, we bring you glad tidings of great joy. That's the a message of evangelizing. We ought to be talking not just of the birth of Christ, but of the death of Christ, of the burial, the resurrection, and the second coming. It's a night of evangelizing. And then it's a night of giving. Verse number 11 says, Fun to you is born in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the anointed, the Lord, the Adonai, the Master. He says uh, he had been, he was the one given to us. God give his son, his son give his life so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Of course, verse 13, 14, uh, it was a night of, 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 of glory. Of course, and even verse number uh, 20, the shepherd uh, glorified them. The angelical host began to say glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill toward all, all men. It was a night of glory. And then verse 15, it was a night of going to where Christ was. When the, when the shepherd heard the good news, uh, they went with haste and they went and they found Mary and Joseph. And of course, they found Jesus. They found him right where, where the angel told him he would be. And of course, we all know, when we know where Christ is, that is in the church house, we need to go right where he is. Of course, please join us tonight for the discussion of night that Christ was born. I pray the word of God and bless you on today as always. Today will be better than yesterday. Tomorrow will be better than today. Why was trying to live better, be better, and do better. I'm happy, healthy, and holy the night Christ was born.